And we begin with a wild story on WFTB tonight. We have learned a used casket was sold on Facebook Marketplace without a local family's knowledge or consent. Good evening, I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sigalski. And Orlando mom says she was horrified when friends sent her photos of the listing featuring her teenage daughter's special casket. It's right there. She is now pleading for the new owner of the casket to do the right thing. She's also calling on the state to shut down the funeral home that she used. Our Nick Papantona is joining us live here in the studio tonight. Nick, this is not the first time you've actually done a story on this business. No, the first time we ran into them was last year when the owner demanded payment before releasing a body to a family in front of us, which we've been told is not standard practice. This situation is strange to say the least. The family says it's a promise broken. I just cried and cried. Cassandra Jackson remembers when she first got the text message. Her daughter's unique purple casket with her name and face plastered all over, selling for $78 on Facebook Marketplace. Anaya Jackson was 18 when someone killed her inside her home in March of 2021. The family turned to Celebration of Life Mortuary on Clarkona Okoe Road to cremate her. They say the funeral home encouraged them to purchase the $5,000 casket and wrap for the viewing with a promise. He said it would be able to be used for other people in our family and he would store it for us. Place the loved ones into our care. You can see the casket in the background of this Facebook video featuring Celebration of Life owner Takevius Bird in January of 2022. Family members say they didn't think anything of the casket until the marketplace listing, with the description that the funeral home went out of business and the seller suggesting the casket be used as a Halloween decoration or a toolbox, despite Bird and Celebration of Life being very much open. What explanation did he give you? He said that he was at church, that he'll call me back. Did he ever call you back? No. Accounts from family members, former Celebration of Life employees, and the marketplace seller suggest Anaya Jackson's casket and one other found their way into a storage unit. That unit was eventually auctioned off when the bill stopped being paid. The person who bought the unit said a woman representing the funeral home called him to buy it back, but never showed up with the payment. He said the man who now owns the casket does not want to be contacted or sell or give the casket to the family. Yeah, I just want the casket back. I mean, that's the last thing really that she laid in, and I just want it back. I'm gonna get the money back. Bird and Celebrations of Life have been under investigation by the state since this story ran last year, when he demanded payment before releasing a body to a different funeral home picked by the family, even though he wasn't licensed to work with families directly. The state sent him a cease and desist letter ordering him to stop acting like a licensed funeral director in March. Days later, we watched investigators make an unannounced visit to his business. Celebration of Life is listed Listed on Thursday's board of funeral, cemetery, and consumer services agenda under disciplinary action. Bird did not respond to any of our questions for this story, but after that surprise inspection in the spring, he told us this. Everything is in order. order. Our license number is F. Thank you for coming to Celebrations of Life Mortuary. One of the models here is that we continue to provide families with a heartfelt experience with dignity and class. Bird was arrested last month. Police say he stole a rental car. Court records also show he's also being sued by a casket company in part for non-payment. And the way this all played out, Nick, the way I understand it, the family told you they bought the casket so that their loved one could be honored at the funeral. Then she was cremated. They owned the casket and they want it back because it's their property. Yeah, and it's un outside of the norm, according to other funeral home owners. Typically, they told me they offered a rental casket to those families so that you can have that viewing that everybody wants to go and see and pay their last respects to. At the same time, it's far cheaper than buying a casket outright. All right, well, hopefully the family will find some it, answers, some and find get it, the yeah. answers and get it back. Yep, thanks, Nick. All right, Nick, stay on top of it for us.